Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordy here for Cinecom.net and in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to duplicate text inside Premiere Pro. We had this question very often from the people that were using Simple Titles, our designer pack, and how they could use one template multiple times. But let me start by just showing how it actually works on one simple title, and then I'm going to show you how it works with simple titles. So I've got a title right here, and I'm going to drag that into my timeline. It says sweet text, because it also looks very sweet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste this to another place on my timeline. I'm going to change the text of this. Now as I'm doing this, I'm just going to double click on it. And I'm going to name this, let's say, uh, Jordy, which is my name. There we go. And look what happens right now if I'm going to take a look back at the first title. Also, the source of that text has been changed. And this problem occurs because the text in your timeline is not the source text. The text in your timeline is a link to something in your project panel, as you can see right here. So this title right here links to these two titles. This here is the source. So in order to have the same text twice, we actually need to duplicate that inside the project panel instead of the timeline. But this wouldn't be a quick tip video if there wouldn't be any workaround to it. So here's how you can do that. I'm going to delete that second one as it doesn't represent anything actually. I'm going to select the first title. And what I'm going to do now is hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. And this works for both Mac and Windows users. Then just drag your title to a different location, but keep holding down that Alt key. Let's go and look what happens inside your project panel. It actually makes a duplication, a copy of the source text. And when I'm going to change the second title right now, so I just named this back sweet text, close that. You can now see that our second text is named sweet text and the other one still holds Jordy because this one here links to title number one. You can also see that right here in the title. And the other one here also holds the name copy, links to the copy. And this is how Premiere Pro works with titles. Now let's have a look at how simple titles works. I'm going to delete these two, also the other texts right here. And I'm going to import simple titles right here. Drag that into your project panel. By the way, if you don't know what simple titles is, then definitely check out our website where you can download simple titles for free. These are 10 title templates. So they are right here and I'm just going to drag in, let's say, simple title number four into my timeline. So it says, enter your text right here. And we want to make a duplication of this to use this text multiple times. Now the problem with simple titles is that we are using sequences here. So we cannot duplicate the sequence by holding down the Alt key because that won't make a duplication of what's inside. It will only make a duplication of the sequence. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a copy of simple titles number four. Right click on it, say copy, and then right click somewhere else and say paste. And now you can see that we have simple titles number four twice. And now we have a real copy of this. And I'm going to name the second one simple title for B. And I'm going to drag this one here into my timeline as well. So what we have now are two individual sequences, but there's a problem. Both of these sequences hold the same source. When I'm going to double click on any of these, you will see that the text in here is for one text. And if I'm going to double click on the other one, which I've just copied, you will see that we have the same source text in it. So it will still not work. But since that we have two sequences right now, we do can change something in one without having an effect on it on the other one. So what I'm going to do in simple titles for B is actually select this text, only the source text, the rest of the animation is all cool. So I'm just going to leave that. Select only the text and these are these two. Hold down your Alt key and drag them to a layer above. And then you can just delete the original one. And now you can see that we have a copy of this text. So I'm going to double click on it. Change the text in here. Jordy is awesome. Close that. Now there is a problem because we've got both of these, the animation in and the animation out, we've got both a copy of that. So we will also have to change the text in both of them, the animation in and the animation out, which still holds enter your text here. Now this is something that you didn't have to do with the original files. And that's because when I'm going back to my original simple title four, you will see that text number four here 
you will see that these two texts are going to the same source. So once you change this one, the animation out will also be changed automatically. But if we're not going to duplicate it right here, it will also not take over the animations, which you can see right here. So therefore, we have actually made two duplications, which we didn't have to do, but I believe it's easier to just change your text twice in the animation in and the animation out instead of making the whole animation of the simple titles again. So also here, just double click on it and change the text. Make sure it's the same text now. Jordy is awesome. Whoops, that's not the same text. Awesome. Close that titler. Now just head back to your main sequence and now you will see that we have enter your text here and we've got one that says Jordy is awesome. So this is how you can duplicate the templates of simple titles. And you can keep going on, just copy and paste these sequences, name them 4C, 4D, etc and then change the source text by actually duplicating it with the alt drag technique inside your project panel. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, then definitely pop them in the comments below. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>